Flipping that question on its head then, what's one thing that you wish businesses would just stop doing? What's not working or maybe never worked? Oh, that never works. That's a good one. Um, interesting. I don't have to answer that one. Um, I think, you know, not having a strategy, not having a budget, even if you, you are a marketeer, you know, you need to define who your audience are. Perhaps that's it. Audience, you know, people just completely forget about their audience and they think that I sell red pens to people who want red pens. I'm going to broadcast that I make red pens better than anyone and cheaper than anyone. And perhaps just think about the fact that who wants a red pen, you know, don't, don't broadcast. So I think that'd be one thing. I think there's an over, over reliance or overcrowding in terms of people rushing to AI at the moment, the worries a little bit where people are just trying to produce mass content cheaply. Um, and I think more authentic content's better. There's a tool I love at the moment called Video Ask, and it's a chatbot for your website, but it's, it's, freak, it's frequently asked video answers that you would record like this. And I think it's far more authentic if the founder or an expert in the that area of the business was on that page answering customers' questions. But I see a lot of clients that are trying to cut calls and use these AI video bots to produce it. And I'm thinking, well, you're going to get on the first Zoom call and they're going to know that that was a bot. And it just, I think it's just, you know, you can cut yeah. corners in marketing to save budget, of course, but the place to cut, 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 cut corners. I think you, you, you can get caught up in the silver lining around the, the, the shiny tools that you're looking at. But if you look at it objectively from a client's perspective and wonder to yourself, if the client realizes this isn't what it's supposed to be or it's not doing what it's supposed to do, or even if it is, what sort of representation of my business does this give? If I'm being disingenuous with my video messaging, for example, they're going to assume that I'm yeah. disingenuous with my reports, like, uh, and, and not consciously maybe, but subconsciously, there's going to be a red flag there for anyone. And yeah, I think for a start, I think all that sort of stuff's got quite a long way to go yet. There's some really interesting growth in that area. And I think it'll come. Um, but I think it'll probably move to a point. There's some good execution, I'm sure. Yeah. But, um, it worries me a little bit about the mass AI driven content. Um, it's surely going to drive quality down and quality is going to affect trust, right? Yeah. It's funny. I was, I was talking with a business on this show. One of our first episodes was, um, called content at scale. They've now ironically rebranded that because they don't want to be seen as content at scale anymore. They're, uh, oh, I can't remember the name. I'll have to post it in the links. Um, and I was talking with their, um, chief technology officer and basically what the, the whole point was, yes, we want to help agencies create SEO quality content, but we want to help you do it at, um, an experienced person's level. And we only want it to be about 80% there because we want you to be able to finish it off. It's not about us creating that content that just gets pushed out to the, to the end result. It's about, we want to shave 75, 80% of the time off the time it takes you to do that task, give you all the tools you need to go, all right, I've got everything all in one place. Now all my research is done. This is done. That's done. Now I just need to tweak this and make it human. And I think that's a really powerful yeah. message. Even the AI companies are starting to recognize that actually this is doing more harm than good. And by interjecting that human in the middle, you can really augment what that human's capable of. And I use, I use AI all day, every day. Like I love it. Um, but I'm very, very cautious about putting raw AI outputs in front of anyone because. Yeah. I'm personally a more fan of using it for business automation and marketing yeah. automation and tasks. Stuff that's really important that represents your brand and authenticity. It just worries me when clients say, I'm going to get some AI videos produced. I don't know if that's one particular area. It doesn't feel like it's there yet, but there's, there's so many that it is. AI is great at many, many potential production spaces. Fantastic. 